In the spotlight today is Datacore, which is a map that historically I've kind of ignored whenever I talk about like maps in this game I really liked, but as of the last few years has uh, begun to actually warm its way into my heart. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for mischief in this map, it's really tight, um, and let's go take a peek. So this one here was designed by our friend Dave Riller, or David Riller, it's one of those two, I'm sorry I'm an idiot and I forgot. Um, looking at old pre-release screenshots, I think this may have been, um, repurposed from a portion of the single player. Because there's uh, screenshots floating around of enemies and scientists around here. And, like, barnacles, and I, I don't know. But, I, that's just my theory. I could be entirely wrong. There is a charger there. That just came back. Um, then this is, like, a little shelf here. Or, I guess, a desk. You get a health thing, and if you turn around, you got a revolver and a trip mine. Always really helpful. Uh, over here, more trip mines and a shortcut to another area, which we'll come back to later. Uh, this map is very roundabout in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of these quarters, when you first play it, are going to look the same. Got some ammo. But once you play it enough, you'll start noticing distinct areas, and the flow of the map is actually really good. Um, you got some explosives here. You got an SMG there that, um, you can get, um, with some grenades here. So, like, you know, the the shooting kind. I don't know why I had to make that distinction. But they're there. Don't want to forget that. This is the only real dead end of the map with no ratting about. There's the healing station. Uh, shotgun ammo, like, pistol ammo and medic. And then, then the shotgun. Whoa. Um, I think it's spawn point some grenades. Don't, don't get stuck here with all these explosives here. Get in what you need to do and get the hell out because you're going to die. Going this way, you got another, like, back to the roundabout-ish design. Go in this corner first. It's this little small area with not much of a note except for the hive hand. Don't discount it, though. Then you got this area here, which is very important. Because ducking under here, you can get the gauze. And you get some rocket ammo. Very, very important. Once you have the gauze, just don't use the ladder. Just... J jump up with the gauze jump. Get a grenade there, as you can see. And if you go this way now, you will get to one of the other kind of corridor areas that I call them. There's two on each side, obviously. there's They both have the distinct uh, staircase and kind of like rail system going on here. But you're going to see here, in this little area, there's um, some ammo for the Gauze and Egon, and the rocket launcher and charge, but how do you get that? Well, I'll show you in a bit. Don't forget here, there's a crossbow. You can do some nice, cheap-ass sniping until someone notices you and blows your ass up. If you go down this corridor, is the map's second shotgun, and it leads you into that other area we were in earlier. So what I see, you see what I mean when I talked about this one being roundabout? Well, now you do, of course. If you go down this corridor here, is going to lead you to this, uh, the last of the areas of the map here. Well, I guess that's a lie, because there's actually this little area here, where you can crawl through to get some, uh, items, and some hiding, so you can, like, you know, do some games, peekaboo. Um, from there, leads you back to that kind of corridor area that I mentioned earlier. So again, roundabout, roundabout, very round map. But if you go back this way, there's a few things you'll notice here. You got this circular thing, with some rocket ammo, and that shortcut I brought up earlier, that's where this leads to. If the demo man would mind his business. Yeah, there you go. Now, from there, is a very, very important area. Because if you go up here, well, first of all, grab these grenades before you go up here, because I'm going to show you something. If you grab the grenades, uh, you got nice little area to start chucking some grenades down and, like, you know, bringing on the pain. But, as you just saw there, when I just walked past it, you have the long jump. Now, this is very important because not only is it, especially in more like, you know, two to four player matches, not only is this going to give you the advantage of jumping around and blasting people's asses, but you're also going to be able to get up to here. And now, you got to make a very specific jump. You got to grouch jump because you're going to hit your head on that. But if you can get that, you get the rocket launcher and you can charge up and you get a ton of battery life from that. And, uh, yeah, to keep that all in mind, and you'll have a good time on this map. Great for some mischief. You don't want to get stuck on these hallways, or really anywhere in this map, without having some sort of weapon already procured. It's like, you know, if pistols are not good on this map. You know, pistols generally aren't particularly the best weapon, but at least on some of the longer-range maps, the accuracy is going to at least help you get, like, you know, pick off some people. 
Here, though, you really don't want to be messing around. Or else you're just going to have a bad time. That was a waste of a grenade, but oh well. Yeah, well. There you go. Yeah, just be careful, obviously, when you're charging up that someone doesn't, you know, try to take advantage of your distraction. I swear it gives you more, but I think I used up some more. Or some already. Oh, well. Obviously, in a real match. And I somehow failed entirely there. Well, there you go. Redemption. That would have been epic if that actually hit. Well, we're equally terrible, so... Oh, God! Oh, God! Everyone's got the shotgun! Including me, but I need to reload. Oh, no. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Just when... Once people get, like, the bunch of shotguns going... And, like, explosives with the SMG... Like that, like, you know, the shenanigans are terrific. The just sheer chaos that gets around here. Like, obviously, that's even crazier if you have more people running around, but... I would say only eight max, because... It gets a little too crazy, as in the... As in, you can't even get the time for a weapon... Before someone comes and kills you, and, you know... I like actually having the opportunity in deathmatch games to actually grab... You know, some actual good firepower. It's just not the same if everyone's, like, running around with pistol like he starts. The bots are on medium skill. I don't know why they're so stupid right now. I know I'm terrible at this game, but still. I should be doing this good. There we go. Finally, we got some resistance. Oh, but you thought you thought otherwise. Or I thought otherwise. I thought I was going to die. I don't know what I'm talking about. In the heat of the moment, you must react. 